what is up guys my name is Ted and uh, today I've got another video for you um, I'm switching up things a little bit today um, and this probably will be a permanent effect unless um, people tell me otherwise because I think this is gonna be a change for the better um, I'm starting to split my videos up into three parts each um, you'll notice my demolition gameplays they always have three rounds because we always get an overtime because it's planned that way and unless something changes and I start doing two rounds only um, then I'll be in two parts but I'm splitting the games up for three reasons and uh, the most important of which is because people have told me they don't like watching 16 minute gameplays and a lot of my videos are between 15 and 16 minutes that's too much to watch at once I totally understand I'm the same way I like about five to six minute gameplays and um, here's the deal the gameplays are always going to be entertaining I'm not going to dull down the gameplays at all I'm not doing this to get extra views on my channel I'm doing this for three reasons, and the first one of which, like I said, is shorter gameplay times. It's going to be about six minutes per round, between five and six minutes per round. Um, it's very consistent because we set one bomb off and then we let the other one stay put. Every single round is pretty much the same length unless they plant and diffuse um, too many times or something like that more than once. Very rare. They'll pretty much always be a six-minute round, and my gameplays are always a total of about 16 to 20 minutes. Um, the second reason I'm doing this is because I like to cover one topic at a time. I really don't like um, doing these gameplays where I talk about 16 million things at once because it's so, such a long gameplay and I just I basically run out of topics at the end of the gameplay and I just sound boring and stupid and I'm sure I pronounce sound boring and stupid quite often so I'm not even going to go there. But um, this gameplay is going to be mainly about updates on my channel and such and um, this is just a couple of new things. One thing that I hope you noticed by now, I've put out the last three gameplays. I've been talking really fast in because I've been trying to get out a lot of information about Modern Warfare 3 and those have been the TDM quickies that I've been doing recently to get those off my hard drive. But I hope you've noticed the amazing new quality of my videos. Um, I've always, I haven't changed recapture cards or anything. I'm still using the HD PVR, but I learned all about Sony Vegas Pro 9.0 and I've already had it, but I didn't know how to use it. I didn't know how to use the quality of the videos and how to make them so much more vibrant and better and sharp. And absolutely everything's changed as far as the quality of my videos have gone. Um, there's no more letterboxing, which is the black thing, the black columns on the left and right side of my screen. They're no longer dark, they're no longer dim, and they're no longer black looking. They're a lot better quality. And it took me a lot of time and a lot of research and a lot of YouTube videos and tutorials to figure out how I'm supposed to do this correctly. But I'm pretty sure I've got it down pat now. I'm hoping that you notice this and I'm not just telling it to you and you're, and you're figuring it out now. Hopefully it's something that came out and just grabbed you and you noticed it right off the bat. Um, if not, you know about it now. Hopefully you'll notice it and you'll realize how much better it is. Um, the quality to me is about 50% of what I look for in a, in a gameplay. It could be, you know, a 5 million kill streak, or I don't know why I said that way, 5 million kill streak, and um, if the guy's got a dazzle quality, like a, a 420p quality, which is just, it's really fuzzy and pathetic looking, I probably won't watch the entire video just because it's very boring and, and hard to look at and hard on the eyes. But this type of gameplay, I want it to be easy on the eyes. I want it to be something that you click on because of the vibrant colors and how nice it looks. And then you know the commentary, and hopefully you learn something while watching my gameplay commentaries. Um, so, like I said, I'm putting out a lot more Modern Warfare 3 information. Um, I really, it, it struck me recently all the information that's been out about Modern Warfare 3, and I haven't really been talking about any of it. And I know that that's what everyone wants to hear about right now. That's kind of the new trend, I guess you could say. And there's so much information out there that, and I and I really enjoy researching it. You know, if history teachers ask me to research the history of video games, I'd probably get 100 on that project because I, I enjoy it that much. And uh, this is kind of like a research project to me, looking up the history of, uh, video, of Modern Warfare 3 and what's been out so far, what's been released, the information so far. The E3 event they had recently, there was a lot released, there was a trailer released. Um, I'm going to go over all that, cover a lot of it, color all the, cover all the trailers, cover all the leaked information, all the supposedly leaked information, and all the information that's 100% confirmed by either Robert Bowling or someone else in Infinity Ward, or maybe even Sledgehammer Games. Um, right now, you'll notice there's been a lot of single-player information, but not too much multiplayer. Um, a lot of the multiplayer information that's been released is either false or unconfirmed. So I'll, I'll still touch base on that, like the last one with the, with the uh, I did the, the perk choices. That was supposedly confirmed, but turned out it wasn't really confirmed. Um, they were just, I think there's some basis to them of truth. 
but I don't think that they were completely true. And I'll link you to that video, and I'll link you to a playlist of all the Modern Warfare 3 information. I'm going to create that after this video, of a, a list of all the modern, a playlist of all the Modern Warfare 3 uh, information tutorials that I've put out. So once again, my videos will be split into three parts now. This will be the first round. The next video will be the second round, and the third video, you guessed it, would be the third round. And I'm going to upload. I'm going to commentate all these before I upload them. I'm going to upload them all in groups of three at once, and they'll be uploaded within the hour. So if you watch one part and you're thinking, hey, I want to watch the other part so I don't lose what's going on, just wait about an hour before watching each video, or be before watching the first video, and all three will be uploaded and linked together. I'm going to leave an annotation at the top of the screen permanently throughout the entire video, the top right of the screen to the next video, and then on the second video, I'll link you to the third video, and I'll link you to the first video on the second one also, just to make it easy for everyone. Um, that's the end of this commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll also leave a description in the link in the uh, leave a link in the description for those of you mobile devices. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later. Bye.